well we are on 421 south right out of boone north carolina and if you continue on this road you would end up in valley cruces newland grandfather mountain beach mountain sugar mountain a lot of ski resorts in this area but what we're going to do we're going to valley cruces to the mast general store there are nine locations but only one of those locations is the original general store just as it was when it was established in 1883 and i love old stores like that so i hope you'll join me we are on our way to the mass general store wanted to show you this mast farm inn i think you can eat there it's a really pretty drive out through here and we are going to come to the mass general store annex it's first on the right, but that's not it. You need to keep going. So we're getting ready to come up on the annex. And this is it. And it was an original store, but they've converted it. They've got clothing and just modern day things. So just keep going and you'll find the real Mass General Store. We're on 194 North. Here it is. There's parking in the back. You just go down, take a right beside it, and go down to the back where it says parking. So this is the parking lot. Isn't it pretty, the mountains? And again, I see license plates from all over. Florida, Tennessee. And this is the back of the store. They do have some museums here in the area, but I'm not gonna go looking through there. Just walked in, isn't this amazing? I love it. Look at the old peely ceilings and the wooden floors. I've come in here before and they've had uh, old timey music playing. Actually, the pickers came from around the area and just sat here by this pot belly stove and played. I'll show it to you. They just sat all around here and played back in the day. People would come here and visit and sit and just spend time with each other but they've got things here that you wouldn't find other places like homemade they've got their own meal looks like different coffees and all kinds of different candy there's clothing here too there's shoes um, so we'll take a look around the old coolers and we'll get you we call them pop oh and look they've got um RC Cole and Moon Pie. So let's walk up front here, see what they got. Got some young men working in here. Cast iron cookware. They also have the old post office back up here because back in the day, at a store like this, as we learned when we were at Heritage Farm, that they um, would come here for everything from miles around. And it's where you come. To the post office and get your mail. They're still doing that today because there are mail in these boxes. So they must be post office boxes for the area. Also, this is on the National Registry of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. Not many places like this left. Yeah. A lot of people here. It's hard to stay out of people's way. Some old time remedies. Well, they're not old time, they're birds bees. <laughs> but they do upstairs have a lot of really neat stuff. We're gonna take a walk up there. You hear the creaky stairs? People going up. They do have modern things too, clothing. You hear my feet? That's me walking up these stairs. I'm trying to film and not fall. Christmas stuff. So this must be, look at the floors. Downstairs is more authentic. We'll go try to look behind the counter at the very front. See if we can see, there's just so many people here that it's hard to um, get around. This is collectible. Christmas checker set. Elf on a shelf. 
Okay, there's less people here now. Let's just look to see what they have behind the counter. Keys, nails, bird feeders, bird seed, old pop bottles, candy. Charlie Chips. Charlie Chips used to come to the door and deliver these cans to our door. They were uh, chocolate chip cookies and also potato chips. Seems to be a little bit more modern than the last time that I was in here. Look at that. Look at the short the, um, shelves of nails. Tin products. There's a picture. Old picture. Back in the day. Randy Travis in the background. I'm going to have to block that out or I will get in trouble. This is the picture of the store in the 1890s and this is the annex that was down the road in the 1930s. Some of the old antique items that I'm sure they've come across through the years. This is a photo opportunity. This is out back at the store, and this is the um, this is schoolhouse. But there are actually um, shoes and clothing in there. Okay, we've come from Valley Cruces. We've taken a right on 105 South, headed up to Grandfather Mountain. There is a ton of road work. I'm, I think I made a mistake. And it looks like it's going to rain. I was hoping to go to Grandfather Mountain, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to do that. And I'm going to have to see if there's another way around. Because look at the how far this traffic is backed up. I should have I should have gone the other way, but we've come this far, so we're going to continue on and see where we end up. Okay, even though the map says we are 30 minutes from Grandfather Mountain, I can see his face right there. You see it above? It's right below the clouds. <laughs> Let me pull up a little bit more and see if you can see it right there. As we get closer, you can see it a little bit better. Sometimes it's too windy to go up there. They won't let you. We'll just see how it is today. Okay, here's a better view. You can see his chin and nose. Okay, we're gonna take a left here. Look how old that sign is. Six miles, Grandfather Mountain, Carolina's top scenic attraction. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to drive and film because it, if I remember, once you get up there, it's very windy. Guys, I apologize, but it was raining and you can't go up there right now. So we will come back another time and go to Grandfather Mountain, but there are a lot of shops and antique shops up this way as well. Cafes, we're near Banner Elk, which is another exclusive area. So if you're ever up here, Oh, look at that. What's that? The Peddling Pig. But I hope you will visit the area. We'll come back um, another time. There's a mile high bridge up there. I've never had the courage to go over it. I've tried and started, but you can see down through it a mile, and it's just scary. But remember, I always remember the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And I said that in the last vlog, but I, I have to remember it when I get places like that. So we're going to head back. We've got a lot of road construction here. I hope we don't have to sit here long. But I hope you enjoyed our time in Valley Cruces and the Mass General Store. Look at the mountains. Aren't they pretty? Well, I hope you have a blessed day. Until I see you again, God loves you. Bye.